J Flight SLX Model 184 BH here at Halen RV in Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is probably the best selling J Flight SLX model out there, and there's good reasons for it. It has probably the best balance in a compact class travel trailer of living space, sleeping space, storage, all that. Now, I say compact class because if you see it next to a full size J Flight, you can see an obvious difference between the two. So, full blown J Flight eight foot wide versus seven foot wide. It's also 81 inches tall versus a little bit lower profile. Now that lower profile is gonna keep this thing down out of the wind. The advantage of a seven foot wide trailer is you don't need those uh, big expensive tow mirrors to see around your rig. It's also not going to get quite as much uh, headwind or bucking from passing a semi or even just a big van going down the road. You'd be surprised how much wind uh, just a van displaces. And at 2,700 pounds, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a full blown travel trailer that weighs less unless you go to an ultralight and then you're gonna double this price tag. Now, even though this is Jayco's uh, very smallest unit, there are so many convenience features here that you will not find in other uh, compact classes. Now, it comes standard with the little wheel so you can roll it around when you get to your site. But what people don't realize is the little pin that holds the wheel on the leg down here is the same pin that works as your hitch pin. This thing pulls double duty. So when you're at uh, your campsite, you don't need to lock it on your trailer. But when you're traveling, you have a pin. They build that into a Jayco. A lot of manufacturers don't give you that foot pad. They don't give you that pin. It's, it's not a big deal, but it's a combination of a lot of little things like that that'll help you understand why J Flight here is the number one selling travel trailer since 2005 and counting 10 straight years they've maintained that sales record this is a big reason why even their smallest compact least expensive travel trailer still has double the warranty of virtually any travel trailer or fifth wheel or motorhome the warranties on this travel trailer trump almost everything else built out there motorized or otherwise that's there's something to be said for that this has the same type of roof structure as its big brother J flight next door. So you can still walk up there, you can maintain it. I triple dog dare you in this compact class travel trailer to start walking around the roof of some of these. Um, you won't do it for long. It'll, it'll look like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when he falls through the ceiling. It'll look about like that. Um, only 2,700 pounds is this model. So this is very easily towable. What's cool, you can put this behind a minivan and you can safely tow this down the road, even loaded. Now, a couple neat things here. Up front, you see that you have your, your big front dinette which can fold down into a seven foot wide bed. Now, what's cool is even if you don't wanna do that, let's say you just have uh, an extra kid you wanna sleep real quick. You see how wide this bench right here is. You don't have to convert this whole thing down. You can use just this bench as a sleeper without even fiddling with that sofa up there, or that uh, dinette up here, pretty cool. Um, in your compact class trailers, a front window is not extremely common. Jayco has a better structure. Their window holds shape better. They can afford to do that. Start looking at storage options in compact campers like this. You still have big cabinets all over the place in these Jaycos. And notice that you have cabinets above the dinette. And these aren't small. If you, if you look from down here, you can see how big these are. This is hands down the best built compact trailer out there. That's why it has double the warranty. Features like standard LED lights, not incandescent bulbs that you don't have to replace these all the time. Um, if you even get an air conditioner in another compact camper, it would be an option and it would be a 5K. With Jayco, it's standard and it's an 8,000 BTU. It is, what, 60% uh, stronger? And that's a standard item from them. You also have nicer um, nightshades instead of metal blinds. These things aren't gonna get bent up and twisted up. You notice all of your windows open. This big window opens 50% of the way, which is the max you can make a window like this open. And uh, you can get a ton of cross ventilation in here. That's why I like these. Now, I'm 6'3". This is a little bit shorter profile. I'm 6'3", and I can still walk around in here. It's just tall enough. It's targeted to be just tall enough. They really did a lot of research. Now, in your little kitchen area, you see you have this big pantry over here. You could even use that maybe as a wardrobe for the kids because there are a set of bunks over there we haven't even got to yet. 
you have extra countertop space here. Now this is griddle country. This is where you're gonna whip out the electric griddle. You're gonna whip up pancakes and bacon for the kids or for yourself. That sounds good. Man, I'm hungry now. Pancakes and bacon sounds good. I could eat pancakes and bacon every single day I go camping. That's just a side note. Anyway, so if you guys are out there, you want to come to Halitz, you want to bring me some pancakes and bacon, I will cut you one heck of a deal on one of these things. Uh, you have a larger refrigerator in these as compared to a lot of compact campers. Some only have a two cubic foot like pop-up fridge. This one actually still has even a little freezer drawer up here. You see the ice tray. You can put some popsicles in there for the kids. Um, let's see, what else? All kinds of storage. Now you notice... Remember I said you could turn this into a wardrobe if you want? Jake already beat me to the punch because they made this shelving removable. And you see that hanging bar? You can convert this into a wardrobe if you are so inclined to do so. Now this has twin single bunks. And you'll find other layouts uh, like this from different manufacturers. Let's we'll start taking a look at uh, bunk bed ratings. This is 300 pound rated. Each This top bunk's 300 pound rated. The bottom one is more than that. Um, because it has so much construction under it. That means an adult can actually sleep up here if you need to. And these are Denver Mattress brand bunks. You see how thick that is. It's 50% thicker than anything else out there. And each bunk has its own little LED light so that if someone has a little nightlight phobia, maybe, you're all set. And you do have a full bathroom in these. That's another area where these Jayco's excel. Um, a lot of other models from different manufacturers have what's called a wet bath, which is where the toilet is in the shower. And while that might be good for space efficiency, it's not practical to use. What I like to show people with the door shut, you can still be very comfortable. You see that my legs are not twisted under me here. Again, I'm tall. I have long legs. I'm a long bodied person. I need space when I'm in the restroom. And you get that in one of these. And what's amazing is these are cheaper they're less money than virtually any other compact class out there. They're better, they're less money, they have twice the warranty. It's one of those few times in life where there's just there's no downside to it. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Financing, hitching, trades, brakes, brake controllers. We do everything here. This is supposed to be fun. We can make it very easy for you. So give us a call and happy camping.